I'm Forrest Saunders in Tallahassee, standing inside the state capitol where Republicans say in a few days they expect to pass new rules for short-term vacation rentals, giving the state more power to control them and taking it away from the cities in which they reside. Short-term vacation rentals have become a growing source of frustration for Floridians living in vacation destinations. <laughs> Raucous parties late at night, a regular feature in some communities with the rise of rental sites like Verbo and Airbnb, annoying neighbors. We're building um, lifelong friends from this community and it, it disappoints me to even think about moving. Cities have tried to crack down with a litany of ordinances and rules, but now... SB 280, a plan to strip local governments of some of their authority to regulate those rentals and turn the power over to the state. And I'm fully supportive of it. Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo told reporters Thursday the bill is a collaboration between the chambers to create more uniform and simple rules for short-term rentals. It also allows communities to register the properties to better know how many exist and who's running them. People are jumping in the pool, making noise. There's a complaint. Who, who do you talk to? Who's the owner? And so it's just a registration thing. And, and it kind of makes sense. It's not a prescriptive bill. It's a common sense bill. We just want to know who's staying there. But some local governments are taking issues, saying the registration powers are too weak and state control too great, potentially leaving cities and counties without much of a toolbox to combat problem properties. 280 will remove the ability for local communities to distinguish short-term rentals from residential homes. David Will, the mayor of Reddington Beach, told lawmakers this during a committee meeting earlier this month. If this bill were to pass, we could not distinguish parking, noise parking and trash between short-term rentals and regular homes. Now, there is still time for the policy to morph, and leadership says it's a, quote, work in progress, suggesting we could see more changes before it gets on the governor's desk, which high-ranking Republicans believe will happen before the session gavels out in March. So when will the Senate actually take up this bill and vote on it? Well, we're expecting it to happen as soon as next week. It could be a little bit later, depending on the scheduling. But after that, it will have to go through the Florida House, where more changes could happen. That's the latest out here at the State Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.